you'll have to come with me with an imagination station because Steve doesn't have enough boards to do this the way that he wants to. But I think that I can project the finished product. Let me rotate. Well, <clears throat> a couple of obvious comments here. That's not where I really wanted it. I wanted this to be flush, I think. And it's definitely missed it by an eighth of an inch plus some. Both of these, I can explain. You can't see it, but there is a pronounced bow. Maybe if I shoot up the log, you can see it. I don't know pronounced bow here. I think I can draw that in. This one's straight. Now I just need the two back rails and then I'll box it in. And I won't have any more wood left. I'll be all done. All done. I think that's going to look okay though. All right, well, I wish that I had had a uh, table with some clamps so I could have drawn that tighter when I put it together. I really want it tighter. I really do. So the back ones I think I'll put on and I'll do uh, some recessed screws. I only have three inch screws <laughs> all the way around. That will be anchored to the wall, which will keep that secure. Let's see if I can get that done. I'm not going to do final on this because um, with the tile, uh, let me get some tile here. 
All right. <clears throat> hey, maybe it'll look okay. Maybe I don't need to, to do anything. Well, I thought that that under toe kick would would be uh, not right. I think it will. I think I'll screw the other ones on. And then I'm ready to shift that back and forth and box it in until I cut it right. All right, let me see if I can get this racked up. All right. So if you imagine, got a little tiny three quarter inch toe kick here. I've decided the tiles are gonna stay right where they are. I'm not gonna raise this up. Uh, underneath there'll be uh, boards and they'll span the full distance here and there. And there'll be the bottom shelf. And there'll even be a little seam there where there'll be a hidden compartment. Ooh, I can hide stuff in there. So this board, which isn't, uh, it's not wide enough, right? If I do that, you can see. But from this angle, you've got the vision. So the cabinet, you'll walk in and the cabinet will be finished like that with the bottom shelf and there'll be a couple of shelves going up. Uh huh. The shelves will not penetrate through. I won't let them penetrate through. I like that clean look. That's gonna be a clean look. That's just a brace for now, it'll go. And then the door will bolt on to the front. And I'm a little scared to bolt it because of the mirror that'll fall. But I'm going to do it so that we can all see together. And if I break my mirror, then I'll just accept the fact that I've given myself seven years of bad luck. I don't believe in it. Listen, I'm not a very superstitious man. It's, it's hard to me, get me convinced. I think that whole thing started when mirrors were super expensive and glass was very rare and somebody didn't want some shipper somewhere to break the glass. And so they had to tell a middle-aged guy, plants, I can hear them. They don't crave electrolytes. Or I meant rather... <laughs> All right, let's do this thing. A bundle of pedestal. All right. Does it fit? Does it fit? That is the question. Does it fit? Maybe. Staying. All right, kind of staying. That makes me feel extremely comfortable, kind of staying. All right, so even with rough cut, that's, that's not too bad. There's a little run out there that's not quite right. I will straighten that. Let me see how the same problem shows up there. So I've got the room-ish to shift it, maybe. That's strange. That, that little quarter inch that I said was wrong is wrong. It's showing up, denying me, denying me a good fit on this door. All right, and then across the top of the door, there'll be a thick, imagine, shelf. And I'll even make it, it will stick out a little farther than this. So there'll be a thick shelf on the top that'll go all the way to the other vanity. But close enough wasn't good enough there. I've got to fix that one. <laughs> yes, I do. And that's, that's bad. 
And then I'll be able to straighten that with the boards and the cabinetry. I'm not even sure this door is dimensionally the same, right? I mean, it's an old door. It might be off itself. I could plane it. Push comes to shove. We'll see. All right. That was my little imagination station. I think that's going to be, I think that's going to be great. Let me step back. I'll take some pictures and I'm super nervous that that mirror's just held up there temporarily. All right. But there, and this vanity will be pushed up closer. There'll be another one just like that. There'll be open air shelves here to the ceiling and the ceiling will have joists that'll go across. That'll support the weight of the poured concrete. And uh, I'll be able to put in my bathroom light there, another bathroom light. This one will be right there, the same height as that. And I think that my bathroom will have reasonable light. And then I'll chase all the electrical conduit. And I can along the walls. Then I'll hang drywall. That post I'll move out while I'm drywalling. So it'll just be open all the way through. I'll pull out that bathtub temporarily. While I'm drywalling, and I'll just drywall this, boom, 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 all the way to the end. Just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. But I am out of, uh, I am out of wood, and I won't be able to open up my sawmill here probably all next week. I saw a couple inches of rain, so the drought is over. <laughs> I'm grateful for that. It is the fall, and it's time where the sap goes down in the trees. It's time for me to cut trees. So I will get around to that before now and the end of the year. I have to. I have to make a weekend to go and get logs and bring them both for the reciprocal ceiling and for me to finish this up. And that's about it. So uh, this video will be coming out a little bit after Thanksgiving because I've already got enough videos to get me through Thanksgiving so I could take a break. And But I'm talking about the Black Friday because I need to go and I need to go shopping and get... All the things I mentioned earlier in this video. And uh, and then I'll work that weekend, that Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I might even have the bathroom done by then. That would be progress. Ooh, ooh. I'll put in the insulation. If I get that far and I run out of posts, then I'll start putting in insulation. Because I can do that. All right, this is Steve, A Thousand Year Homes. I hope you can get my thousand year vision. That mirror could last a thousand years if nobody puts an arm through it. Maybe, huh? And what else? The, the stained glass window, they'll only last a hundred years, 80, 100 years. I, maybe 200 on a good day. I am going to build storm windows for those stuffs right down there. I'm going to custom build storm windows. So they might last a little longer. These uh, are just generic uh, Manderson windows, I think. But I'm going to bet I could get 200 years out of those, maybe. Of course, the cedar will last a 1,000 years with the oil. I, everything will be linseeded when I get done. Man, I'm excited. I'm excited. This cabinet will have a poured countertop, I believe. I think I might find a sink to put in there. And there's plenty of room down in there for uh, plumbing. It's It's got to be 15 inches deep or more down in there. So not worried about making a little elbow. And in the, and because it was an ice box, let me turn on the fan, uh, light. You can't see. Let me move this. Because it was an ice box, see? It's got a little half-inch drain. See it? Right there. Refocus right there. And I thought about soldering this up to use it for... Uh, the sink, but I don't think that that's a possibility. Plus, I like stainless. Stainless, stainless will last forever, literally forever. I think the core 10 in here, I am painting it, resealing it to get an extra 100 years out of it. I'm gonna guess it'll, it'll last a thousand years. I'm gonna guess it will. It'll rust, patina, be done. Uh, and of course, the earth bags on the outside, eventually the nylon, uh, Polyethylene wrap around the earth bags will give up, right? And uh, but long after I'm gone, I, I mean, seriously, if it's protected from the UV, I'm going to guess 500 to a thousand years is reasonable. And of course, the clay that I will have put a, just a little stabilizer in it in the form of uh, concrete of some sort or another. I haven't decided what yet. That clay will last for eternity, right? Because it's already has, it's already a million years old or whatever people say it is. I don't know. But it's old. It's older than a thousand years. 
Um, hmm. Oh, I got to do the stairs. I'm going to do the step temporary stairs. I meant to do that. It started raining, didn't let me. So I'll get the temporary. There'll be another video of the stairs. Uh, that is oak and steel. And uh, that'll last a little while. But uh, what I'll do is I'll, or when I get all done wrapping the house and I've got that done, then the outside I'll do a perimeter deck out of earth bags and tamped earth. And that'll last a thousand years. And the lights, because I'm running conduit, somebody can pull a different electrical system someday and use the conduit for whatever they want. I don't care. I, who knows? They might be pouring neurons directly in it. I have no idea. But they'll be able to do that quite easily. It won't be Romex that's all stapled up and they have to whop or jaw it behind the drywall. Uh, drywall stabilized. So 5 8 inch is thick stuff, everybody. And on top of that, I found a marble paint. So it'll look like it's been, it's marbleized. So, ooh, that'll be fun. Um, the floor, the floor, of course, these tiles that I have, those are um, already a hundred years. They look pretty good for a hundred year old tile. So I'm gonna guess that uh, they'll last, uh, with the traffic, there'll be a worn traffic pattern, a couple hundred years maybe, and somebody will have to do something else. Maybe repaint them. Maybe, who knows? I mean, the, the, the tiles themselves aren't going to wear out. It'll be the paint that'll wear off of them. It, it, uh, paint is actually saturated into the, I think these are probably cement tiles. I'm going to guess they're three quarter inch thick. Man, I am excited. So a uh, thousand year home doesn't mean everything will magically just last a thousand years. I mean, with routine maintenance and average Joe with nothing special, we'll be able to maintain this house for a thousand years. And I'm designing it so that it can be. I, uh, uh, as I look around, what is my motivation? Well, my motivation is how badly we build houses in America and maybe around the world, but they're just you know, chipboard as quickly as we can. We do not care if they need to be rebuilt again in 20 years. We don't. And I think that's unfair to the uh, folks that are putting out top dollar for their house, right? Like, sure, they might sell it again in 20 years and they might make a profit on it, but the next person has to come in and drop half again as much as the house value on it. New roof, new shingles, new siding, uh, run off the termites, blah, 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 blah. With just a little bit extra, I'm talking, you know, I'm going to build this house cheaper because I'm building it myself and I'm, I'm hunting the stuff down as I go. I'm going to build this house less expensive than anybody would quote me on it uh, by a long shot. And the materials I'm going to use are 10 times, actually 50 times, typically, better materials. 50 times better materials. I'm going, no, normal things last 20 years. I'm going to last 1,000 doing the math. 50 times uh, better materials. And it's costing maybe 10 cents on a dollar more up front. Come on now. We are, the only thing that's crap are uh, the stuff I'm forced to buy that's crap, like uh, the doorknobs. I'm sorry, big box doorknobs. I don't have a blacksmith, you know, Then and those are not, uh, they're not well built. <laughs> the doorknobs, doorknobs are not well built. They're just uh, plastic and nylon. They're just not, I don't see them lasting 10 years. So... Over the course of a, a thousand years, if people use crappy doorknobs, that's a hundred replacements. So why not spend a little bit? Somebody between now and a thousand years needs to spend a little bit of money in black and get a good through past machined doorknob with appropriate ball bearing glides. And, uh, you know, people are, oh, well, you do that, it'll be a hundred dollars a doorknob. I do not believe that. I don't. I grew up in small towns where there were machine shops all over and I've seen CNC machines cutting stuff out and now the 3D printers are getting better. Uh, you can 3D print with steel, I don't uh, metal. I don't know how long that stuff would last, but uh, it's possible, right? It's possible to build, is it possible to build a thousand year doorknob? I believe it is. I just don't have one of those. So the doorknobs aren't gonna last a thousand years, so. But most of the rest of it, uh, the plumbing will not last a thousand years. Even if I did have the, uh, the, um, of course, I'm going to use uh, high quality uh, plumbing lines on that. And uh, 
uh, let's see, uh, category four, schedule 40, right? Good stuff, thick stuff. But uh, even if it would last a thousand years, the plastic part, it'll still plug up and somebody will break it with um, someday for something, right? Uh, flush down a bag of carrots. I don't know, uh, you know, but someday it'll get worn out. Uh, certainly within a thousand years, but I'm building this so that the next person doesn't have agony replacing it. So thousand year home, thousand year home. And look, that that's going to look all right. That little vanity cabinet, you know, that door already is probably a hundred years old. It's all blacksmith uh, uh, hardware on it. There's little hooks and things. So I believe that that'll hold an awful lot of towels. I believe that that'll hold everything I need in a bathroom. So, and I still have, looky, I've got a depression era. Uh, this is really cool. Le Tenant and Joyce, it's kind of got the tramp art vibe about it. So I don't know what it was made of. There, inside, there's not glass, right? It's just uh, maybe oak, maybe that's oak. But the... Uh, the screw heads, you look at them, they're flat head screw heads. So I'm going to guess it's uh, 20s, 1920s, and that's probably 100 years old. I think I'm enjoying building this house as a thousand year house because it, I have to hunt everything. And I think maybe that's uh, part of the enjoyment of this. I'm, oh my God, I'm up to 15 minutes just rambling. Why? Nobody's going to ever listen to any of my videos because they're so long. I am so sorry. Anyway, like, subscribe, follow me along. Thanks, everybody.